hello, hey, and welcome to this episode of Rushed Vibes. I am one of your hosts, Miss Jessica Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by the other host, Mr. David Rushed Vibes Rushing. And we are here to rush the vibe with our tribe. What's up? What's up? You tell me. How's it going? You tell me, Mr. It's time to record. It is time to record. It's Thursday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday when we're recording this. You might see this Thursday. It is Wednesday. And uh, we need to record. Because if it were Thursday and we were recording, that would mean I would absolutely have to edit this tonight. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I have options. Options are good. So that means you're still going to edit it tomorrow. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't have to record and then edit. Ah, I see. Ah, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. So options are good. When you have options, life is infinitely easier. I feel like there was a little sass in there. What do you mean? But anyway. How so? Uh, it's cool. We moved on. Um, why did we have to record, David? Because it's another week. No, we recorded no, last why week. did we have to record a day early? So you just want to jump straight into it? You want no banner or nothing? I mean, we can banter. What do you want to uh, banter about? What's uh, good? What's just, what's, just what life. What do we need to follow up on? Just life. Uh, shout out to all the new subscribers that we have. I say all the. We got about I think four or five since we That's started back. definitely in all the. That, that is a lot. So we, we appreciate you. We appreciate everybody who's uh, taking the time to subscribe to the channel. And the if feedback. You, oh, you've gotten feedback? I've sh- I've literally shown you the feedback, um, but we appreciate the feedback. I love when people like text you. Sometimes, if they know both of us, they'll text us in a group chat, and sometimes. they'll like you can see that or you can tell that they're listening and then just responding to us. Um, so that's always fun. But I do appreciate you know getting the extended feedback and just knowing people's opinions and people confirming like we're not crazy we're not thinking too far out of the box we appreciate it so um and then people saying that they're sharing it um so you know shares are word of mouth is how things get around so we do appreciate it and we enjoy it so we'll keep on keeping on and you keep on listening and giving us the feedback you just took over my whole little thing that's but that you said it you said it much more eloquently than i could have oh i'm sorry no it was awesome thank you oh what were you gonna say exactly what you said okay so thank you to everybody who sh- subscribed and shared uh, we appreciate you guys we had a couple of new instagram followers we appreciate you yes you specifically and uh it's good to see your videos have been you know serious because i crossed my leg but you know everything's relative what right is this outfit? nothing is huh what is this? this outfit so this is um this is a cross between i'm in the house and I'm absolutely in the house. Um, and actually, just I'm in the house. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'm more perplexed because you. I watched you steam your shirt. My shirt underneath. And yeah. then you put on a hoodie. I have this thing about wrinkled clothes. I just can't wear wrinkled clothes. Like even if I'm wearing, if I if my fit involves a hoodie or like outerwear, and it's going to be covering whatever shirt I'm wearing, I still that shirt can't be wrinkled. Like, I don't know what it is. My thing with wrinkles, like when I was a kid, actually, I know exactly what it is. Oh. So I'm going to put my mom on blast. When she, when she failed when I, you. I, was, I was a kid, I had a soccer game and, um, I was, I might've been, I can't remember. I was, I was, I don't think I was quite a teenager. I was kind of that in between mm-hmm. and I had a soccer game and, you know, our family were always running late. So where's the Jersey? Where are the socks? Or if we found all, all, both of those. Where are the cleats? Found the cleats. And where are the shorts? And we're like, oh, here they are. And they are white shorts. And it's not like they were black. They weren't navy blue. They weren't dark gray. They were white. White reveals all. So I was like, mom, these shorts are wrinkled. Like, we need to throw them in the dryer. We need to iron them like something. And she was like, no, no, baby, you'll be fine, though. The, the wrinkles will fall out. By the time we, we get to the, by the time we get, <laughs> we get to the field. So I'm like. Cool. Aren't you sitting in a car I'm like, on the way to I'm the like, field? cool, because there's absolutely no way that my mother would sit here and tell me a bald face, a bald face lie. Like, she spoiler alert, she absolutely <laughs> did. So we ride in the car. It's probably about like a 20-minute ride to the field. I get out there. 
And I feel like they were more wrinkled. That's <laughs> than what I was when asking. We, like, in what way were the yeah, wrinkles supposed to I feel like they were, they were more wrinkled than when I got into the car. Man, it was, it was just horrible. And like people was looking at me like, oh, here come the poor kid. <laughs> like he ain't got no, he ain't got no iron. They couldn't get to the uh, laundry mat quick soon enough to get his jersey clean. Like it was horrible. So ever since that day, I'm just I cannot do wrinkles. Like if I if I have a shirt or or pants, or any part of my outfit that I cannot get wrinkles out, like I will do everything in my absolute power to not have to wear it. So. The blue shirt that I'm wearing underneath my hoodie was absolutely wrinkled. And all all you're gonna see, anybody who's watching is gonna see is a collar. Mm-hmm. Maybe the you know, the, the I don't know what you call this, uh down here, but I had to I had to had steam it. But yeah, I'm in the house. I'm comfortable. And you know, everybody should be used to my socks and the crocs. Shout out to Bethany. Like, I just need to be comfortable. Be be comfortable. But you look good. You look great. You wanna tell people why you look good? Especially good tonight because we're recording. And, what do you and, mean especially? And, I don't have makeup on. And, 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 and why because else? I took a shower. And why else? Um, I always shower. Cause you gonna, cause you gonna slide up out of here as soon as we finish recording? Yeah, huh? my girlfriends are huh? doing girl, an girlfriends. event. Yeah, my girlfriends. And it's like seven minutes up the road, so they kind of made it mandatory that I show up. So I'm just gonna pop in, show my face, show my support because my crew supports me, so yeah. I support my crew. He's a number devil hours when you go out into the streets. I'm not I'm not going to So you the better streets. not be out there drinking that devil's juice. With them heathens. Okay. Alright. All right. Uh, you bring your butt home. I always bring my butt home. <laughs> yes, you do. So, um who are we talking about? Wrinkles. No. About we talked about wrinkles. Yeah. You know what we should address? The fact that you found that packet of sugar. And wanted to call me out on it. So I was I was cleaning Jessica's vanity, and I had to empty out the drawers, and I found actually several packs of raw sugar. Sugar and it, in the raw. Sugar in the raw. Um, and Jessica's vanity. I, and I just had questions. I think as any normal person would, if they found the sugar in the instance that I found it. So, I mean, if you want to, elab- I was going to let it slide, but if you want to elaborate. because no, you called me out on it. In a, gr- in a very private group chat. <laughs> in a very private as opposed to just. With, a, with, a, with two people who know us very intimately. So it's not like it was a big deal. No, I just, of all the random things that you have, I felt like it was just interesting that you chose to. What random things do you I just, have? You, I, I can't think of any top of Of course mind, you can't. Of course you can't. But you too, you are very random. So it's just the call out. The fact that you're like, this is so weirdly placed that I'm going to put it in a group chat and, 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 and point finger at my wife. I just found that interesting. Interesting. Um, or or are you responded? Are you hurt? I responded by saying, you never know when you need some raw sugar. Didn't doesn't your board make sound effects? We could have done that. Um, it, it can if if it's within reach, but it's not. Yeah. Did you hear that apparently Harry and Meghan are like have trouble in paradise? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think like a Harry, like. The Sussexes. Oh, the. Um, Sus- 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 uh, Diana's Prince Diana. Diana yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they're having trouble in paradise. After all, what's the, where where they? I at? don't know. I didn't get to hear your kids are making too much noise. Oh, so. you mean like oh, the saying they're trouble in paradise? Yeah, I like, thought you meant like they were. Taking, on, I thought you meant like they were on a trip. No, <laughs> they were having trouble because <laughs> it's summertime. I mean, and they're rich. They got caught so. in a hurricane, like on their private yacht. No, no, I saw it, and I, I, I haven't really been able to dig into it. I've just been so busy so i haven't been able to like know what's happening um but they are saying it's being said that they're taking some time apart so i I got to thinking like you know people are you know you probably have your group of people who are like oh we knew this was coming blah 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 because you've got your naysayers um but then you probably i guess I, i just had this random thought like say they don't work out which is not what i want for them but like what happens then? And then are people going like, 
if his family receives him back as a family should. Um, not saying that he's the prodigal son or anything by any means, but you know, that's what family is for. Like family, like they should have been more receptive of him to begin with. Um, but you should always be able to go home is essentially what I'm, I'm saying. And I wonder, I believe the saying is you can never go home again. Who's saying is that? I believe that's a saying. It's a saying. Yeah. Can't go home again. From where? I don't know. Who said you can't go home again? I've just always always heard it. Where? About. I don't know. When it comes to you and saying, because (laughs) you're the same person. You're right. I probably haven't heard it. I'm probably probably remembering incorrectly. I'm pretty sure there's a saying, you can always go home. My ears are probably dyslexic. I probably hear phrases like inverted. Just just jumble them up. But no, I just found that interesting. And like, I think my initial like gossipy human flesh was like oh snap but then another part of me was like you know i wonder how people are going like what kind of heart people are going to receive that with because you know you should always be able to go home he his family again they should have always been supportive of him um and his wife and and gone out of their way to care for them but if hypothetically something happens and they they part ways he should be able to go home without ridicule granted he's done a lot like he's the book all the interviews, the shows. I mean, he's, he's call him laundry Mac because he has dealt with a lot of the dirty laundry, but I just found that interesting. Um, what else is there to banter about? It was a very quick, quick drive by of the, uh, Sussex, Sussexes. Um, I was just, and I'm glad you didn't ask me what my, my thoughts or opinions I figured are. You didn't know who they were. So well, I know, I know who you were speaking of now. But like um, you probably just don't have enough insight. Um, no, I just don't care. Okay. Well, like they they cause all that ruckus. Did was it a ruckus? Yeah, they cause all that ruckus. Came over here, podcast deals, documentary deals, sitting down with Oprah. Look, like if I gotta cause a ruckus, like why didn't they just with Oprah? I might like if, do it. Like if their if their claim to fame was just gonna be family drama, like why didn't they just go join one of like them Real Housewives of Sussex? Like why didn't they just create a series? Like because the actual royal family won't give them enough like visual access like, to like, be recorded. Because every time I see them, like they no disrespect. Okay, let me let me first say I have no trouble believing that Megan went through a lot of the. Uh, uh-huh. In, insensitive yo English are borderline mean. borderline or over borderline or over the line racist stuff that's I'm I have no problem believing that any of that is real having said that every time I saw them on TV they was whining about something like y'all not happy like is there any part of life that gives you joy like being married <laughs> having a kid um living in Tyler Perry's house they were in Tyler Perry's house I think they're at the on the compound now. Like, you rich ish, at least, maybe relative to other people, not that rich, but richer rich than enough. me, richer than us, rich enough that you can sit down with Oprah. Mm. I mean, non rich people sit down with Oprah. I mean, but they sat down at Oprah's house. But Oprah think, not inviting nobody, Oprah not inviting like anybody Oprah's to her like house, their neighbor or something. That doesn't make it any less <laughs> significant. I'm just like, every time I see them, like, Oh, 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 oh my god like like chris rock did it best like somebody asked me what color the baby was gonna be yo that's chris like rock special. it was like that's not racist <laughs> like, even black people want to know what well, color the baby's well, gonna be not gonna ask? <laughs> huh that chris rock special was just too much for me um yo. I mean, it. I I haven't it's seen Chris Rock. I haven't so. seen a lot of Chris Rock specials like all the way through. Um, normally, I just see clips, right? Uh, I actually don't really consume a lot of stand up. Um, I used to love stand up. I, I I get I like my comedy in in movies or just bits, I mean, like in social media bits. Gifts. Yeah. Um, because it, it felt that felt like a little bit of a yeah. I felt a little bit more than just a, a flyby comment. I felt intentional. Anyways, so I actually got to go to the special um, oh, yeah, here in here in Charlotte. Yeah, and he changed a little bit. It was about eighty five percent the same okay. of what of what I saw, uh, but it thoroughly enjoyed it. And now I understand why people go 
to to see stand up. Mm-hmm. It's it's really good. Um, but yeah, they always whining about something. Like just stop whining. Smile. They they smile. I didn't. Like, know I don't, that, like, I I don't know like, this topic was. Coming. It's just, I was just I mean, it's, it's doing another drive by. It's triggering. Is it? <laughs> it's very triggering. Like, Let's unpack this. Why is this triggering? Like, why y'all? To you? Like, why Do you y'all? have an issue with wealthy people? <laughs> no, whining. I actually love wealthy people. No, I didn't say. Do you have an issue with? No, wealthy? I have. A, I have an issue with issue? these wealthy people. <laughs> <laughs> these specific wealthy people it just bother me, and I don't know what and it you is. Know what's going to happen? I don't know why when they bother me. This podcast blows up, and they are guests on an episode. You're going to be like so nice. To them. <laughs> No, I'm gonna be like, yo, <laughs> y'all you always whining. Y'all drove me insane. Why you always whining? Because a lot of this news hit during the pandemic too, and you watch ABC religiously. So every night from like five to seven, I gotta hear Her- Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, and then the whining view. about something. And then I was watching the View too, so you had to hear it in the morning. I'm like, my God, is there nothing that these people <laughs> like? Nothing that brings them joy. So, sucks to hear that. Uh, you know, I we don't. I'm, it's not that, that there may potentially be. It's speculation. I mean, but they're married. I mean, who? <laughs> I mean, what married couple hasn't had trouble in paradise at well, some point? I mean, I feel at like least that's, they they have the trouble in paradise. Some right, people just have the trouble. Somebody's got ain't the trouble. No, ain't no paradise to be troubling in. Yeah. If I'm gonna have trouble, I'd rather have it in paradise. This is true. So, kudos. This is to true. That. This is true. Oh, um, I was gonna say something about. Uh, the pod while I was talking about thanking everybody who's who's subscribed and has followed us and commented and shared you don't really look at the numbers because you're just on air talent I'm the executive producer so this stuff is is important but so, our last two our last two no it's, it's okay so Let me no. SAG is on strike don't make me join them you can go <laughs> like we'll we'll be like the breakfast club baby we'll get rotating guests get co-hosts in here get alan on here well, you're not gonna successfully bring re- they're not gonna bring successfully alan in here. replace angela yee I, that's debatable but anyways um get out Al- i had you back get alan in here shoot reckless oh, vibes shout out to him yes shout out to him for uh that's it for your, I gotta, I gotta leave. I gotta, I gotta give him just enough oh, that he has a reason to complain on Twitter. Dang. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just, shout out. Look, look, man. So you know, you I, figure out what I'm shouting you, you know, out. You about. know, you know, I got love for you. Shout out. You know, to I got you, love for you, my friend. We already talked. To, we already messaged about it. So <laughs> you know, I got love for you. Um, the the the, the videos, at least on YouTube, have been doing some numbers. Rel- but they're not getting as many comments as they used to. Like the last one, we only had one commenter. The first video back, we got a few, um, but we normally have. I mean, we just have some regulars who usually um, post on our YouTube video. That I, I just found. I noticed that we only had one person mm. give commentary. Granted, people were commenting in other places. I just mm. found that interesting. You know, all, all engagement is good engagement. Um, it would be nice if it was more on YouTube. But seeing as we don't really check the comments that often, it's probably not the worst thing. Um, I've been trying to be better about it, but there were nothing. There was nothing to check. There's same. only so many times I can thumbs up. Right. So the views, relatively speaking, I've been doing some numbers. Like last season, I think we averaged like maybe twenty, twenty, twenty-five ish viewers. Kiki Palmer joints was up to like seventy-four views, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, for a very small time podcast, and then last week's, which was. What was my last week? We touched on Kiki. We talked about. Oh, Kiki was last week. No, Kiki was first week. We talked about what's that? Uh, Seth Rogen, not the. Mm. Ah, the uh, we talked about boundaries. Yes, and what's his name? And um, it's not Seth Rogen. No. Um, it was Diane. God, Jesus, what's his name? Sarah uh, Gray. Jonah Hill. Jonah Seth Rogen. Yeah, Jonah Hill. Sorry. And you know what's funny is you thought you last week you called him Zach. Said he reminds you of Zach Galifian- Gal- Galifianakis or whatever. I just is. like saying his name. <clears throat> but yeah, so the Kiki joint was doing numbers and um, some numbers, mm-hmm. and uh, the other one still getting some views as well. Um, what I look for when I'm analyzing is how long people watch 
how long on um, was the average for you. I'll say the average of each view length or the average length of each view. Like some of them are like nine because you have people who kind of bounce in, they'll they'll stop watching, or some people who bounce in, they'll stop watching, they come back. So usually it's like around nine, ten minutes, which is okay. But the Kiki one is actually at like eighteen, it's averaging like eighteen minutes per view, which is pretty nice. Seventy 74, 75 views, 18 minutes per. Mm-hmm. That means they're actually watching a good bit of the, um, the content. The pod. Now, it doesn't tell me what 18 minutes of watching. Okay. But I would only assume, since I put chapters in the video, that they're looking at the Kiki chapter. The Kiki, since that's pretty much all we talked about. Cool. That's pretty really cool. So, yeah. It's encouraging. It so, is hopefully, encouraging. this one does this similarly, though. We've, we've talked, we've bantered a little bit longer than we usually do. Than we usually do. Um. So do you know why we were <laughs> what we're going to talk about tonight? Tell me, David. I'm here. So I'm look, just the talent. Remember, you are, but you are very talented. You are a very talented talent. Talented. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Tell me otherwise, I won't. I won't do that. You know, the buildup is. It, it's it's so disappointing because I was very invested in those five people who got stuck in that submarine, that submersible, right? You know, I was I was like checking, you, you were, I was, I was checking you were for news like at weird hours of the the night, like day and, and night, morning, day and night. I'm checking for. Um, they heard banging. They heard this. They, they heard, heard banging. They um, did they ever look my into phone that? Just cut off? Um, I don't know that they. I don't know that they did. Um, I don't know that they did. But like, then once I heard that they lost contact, I'm like, yo, what's going on? You know, what what is what is? I didn't know that there were tours down to the Titanic. I mean, I guess I knew James Cameron had been down there, but. I just got really invested. Like some of these, these headlines and these stories, they just, they just grip you and you stay with them Mm -hmm. and you want for there to be a a good, positive, feel good outcome. Like Harry and Megan. I'm, I'm playing. So that did not happen for the, uh, the five people who entered the submersible perished. Uh, so, you know, I was wondering, okay, like, what's the next story that's going to, that's going to catch me, right? Because it's inevitable. I'm, I'm a bleeding heart for these things. So last week, I was on social media and I saw people posting uh, this one particular um, woman, this black woman, um, Carly Russell, who we all probably have heard of by now. And they were like, she lives in Alabama. She went missing. She called. She thought she saw a toddler on the side of the road. She was talking to somebody. And then the line went went dead. And the cops found found her car and phone and wig and, and purse. They found her wig? They found her wig, which is, which is interesting <laughs> for, for a number of reasons. Um, I'm like, oh, my God, like another black woman has gone missing. Like we, we got to ring the bell on this one. We got to sound the alarm. So I was, I was engaged. People were sharing. Um, this happened on, I think, what was it? The 13th mm-hmm. it was Thursday, right? Um, she'd been missing. I probably caught wind of it like Friday. Uh, she had been missing obviously 20, 24, roughly 24 hours at that point. You and I, we actually talked about it. It was a Saturday night when the video, uh, the traffic video yeah because had, 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 you were in bed and you had, had, had like every one of your devices and you were zooming and so on its surface you know like when you get the memes on facebook you get a very limited usually breakdown of the facts mm-hmm. right all i knew was that she saw a baby or a kid on the side of the road she stopped and then you know she wasn't there like the person that was on the phone with her said she screamed and then she was gone I didn't realize that this was at like nine something at night when I first heard of it, which makes it a little different. Um, Why does the time of night make it different? Because on an interstate, 
it's hard to believe that it would have been she would have been the first one to see the baby mm-hmm. number one the kid number one if we're to assume that this is just some random kid stranded because i know that a lot of the the first theory that popped up for a lot of people was oh it's human trafficking mm-hmm. like somebody yes. got the had their kid set the kid up they know more than likely a woman's probably more likely to stop than mm-hmm. than somebody right. else she gets out the car be a thing they would either play the sound of a crying baby in front of apartments that they knew yeah. them and lived in and they open the door or they bust in and they snatch them or assault them whatever pop like a random stroller on the side of a road somewhere mm-hmm. somebody pop out like oh my gosh and they're gone so um that was the the the, the work on, at least on social media that was the working theory that mm-hmm. you know it was she that fell victim to it's a logical theory yeah especially you figure a kid that no one out like there weren't any reports of of a missing toddler at the time um, the last thing you, you've got, a, you've got a witness, somebody who's on the phone with her said she was checking on the kid and then, you know, she was it. You're like, okay, so somebody, she pulled over to the side of the road. Somebody was in the woods waiting. They snatched her like, that's it. So we're like, yo, ring the bell, sound the alarm. We got to get Carly back. So I think it was, what was it? Was it Sunday morning? She came back, I think it was early Sunday, right? Mm, Wee hours in the morning Sunday? Maybe Sunday. I got well, a, you um, text me and you were like, they found her, but I can't remember. It must have been Sunday. because Well, it could have been Monday. Um, it, it definitely so she was, she was missing for 49 hours. Okay. So Saturday morning, the 15th. I'm sorry, Saturday uh, evening, the 15th. She came back home on foot 49 hours after she went missing. Which is Thursday. Okay. Yeah. She was she was on foot. Um, at that point, I believe someone called nine one one, said that she was back. Uh, law enforcement paramedics that came and got her, checked her out, took her, uh, took her in. Got a, I think got a got a statement, and then you know sent her home. So it was around this time, like Saturday night into Sunday Monday, where. Uh, a lot of stuff started to hit social media like and you can never you never really know on social media like what's true and what's not like, it's very hard unless it comes from reputable verified sources sources which is hard to discern on twitter these days um but you know there was obviously a big push a big movement uh locally uh statewide nationally uh, I know that there were or, there were some organizing going on. There was money donated. Um, there were people I think I heard like in the neighborhood. There were people who had signed up to like cook for a family. They all like people in the neighborhood all pulled money together, um, which are all, all things that community does. Community does, or you're you're very accustomed to when these types of things happen. You rally, you support, provide, or help any way that you can. But then, you know, with silence, people get a little antsy mm-hmm. and they get a little curious, mm-hmm. and they're a little skeptical. Mm-hmm. So someone, the first, the first time in my, when I realized like, okay, there might be something more here than what meets the eye is when someone had enhanced the video that I showed you. I think I showed you the enhanced version. Actually, I think I went back and watched it, um, but they basically just increased the brightness. Number one, from the point in which she enters the, her car enters the vehicle, her hazards are already on. She travels a good bit. I don't, there, there was a press conference today, the, the Hoover Police Department. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had a press conference where they released all the facts. Because if, if the theory is that there's, this is a human trafficking kidnapping, then there might be an imminent threat to the public. So they wanted to release all the facts that they have to probably put to rest the 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 unrest that the, hey there may be a ring or, or a person out here who's liable to snatch somebody else mm-hmm. so he released a specific figure but just looking at the video it's a very long it's a very extended drive yeah. um into the the interstate before she actually pulls over so it's like okay keep in mind this is 9 30 at night but so at just- what at, at what point do you see the toddler? And that's what we discussed in bed. Cause I wasn't following. Tell people what we discussed in bed. 
<laughs> this, is not, this is not this is not anybody's business what we discussed and you just said that's what we discussed we were in the bed matter. we were but you you know when we talking about what goes on in our bed i mean a lot podcast, goes on in our bed a lot does go on in our bed a lot but doesn't you doesn't go on in our bed um ha see if you had just let me talk i wouldn't have had to it's, be. Totally, it's totally unnecessary but i remember that okay okay uh, but uh, to the point I was trying to make was that's what I mentioned. Um, you know, nine o'clock at night, no, even it's like nine thirty. Nine thirty, even in summer with summer solstice, like that's still dark, Very and dark. the average person's vision isn't good enough to spot. I mean, if you're thinking about it's an interstate, it's not a country road, it's an interstate. I think it has three or maybe even four lanes on it. The the bionic eyes you would have to have to see a small child and assume it's a child because i mean seeing a figure run you could jump to it's a deer it's a you know you know the chupacabra it's bigfoot like there are so many things you could assume it is but to be able to see it and not only see it think about like most interstates the slowest you're probably going if you're going at least the speed limit is maybe 50 miles an hour that's a lot of processing to be able to drive and say oh that's a small child and and then at that speed stop like it it just didn't add up and that's where my mind was like how did she do that but again i wasn't following the story because i've just been so inundated with work and everything we've had going on i haven't had enough time to to follow it so between you and georgia y'all were my sources like sending me stuff to look at and let's analyze this and let's break this down and what do we think here um so i'll, I'll toss it back to shout you. out to g esquire yes That's my boo love you yes um yeah so it's like Okay, wait, so it's you're telling me you saw a toddler from like all the way back mm-hmm. there. Which is not impossible, but what would likely have happened is you saw the toddler, you passed the toddler, you pulled over, and then you would back up towards where you saw the toddler. Because at that speed, there's no way you could see it from far enough back unless you knew it was there Yeah, to I'm, stop and pull I'm over. thinking I, 99% of people wouldn't have been able to see it from that a toddler from that distance that time of night and and distinctively know that it's a toddler but my thing is you could you could see it because think about when you see a deer on the side of the road usually by the time you see it and your mind processes it you've driven past it so i'm not saying it's impossible that you could be like I mean, think about the random thing. Like, did I just see a... Yeah, but she didn't drive backward. And that's the thing. That's my point. That's where yeah. I, w- I started to get... That's what added to my skepticism. Like, how right. did you... How were you back there and you saw it and you were able to pull off and then, like like you said, go a substantial distance. Um, carry on. Yeah. So, we were we were watching it and it was just like, where's the, where's the toddler? Like, mm-hmm. there's, no, there's no toddler here. So... That was like the first, and I, I intentionally stayed off social media. I didn't want to make up my mind about this until more, you know, more came out, and then it found people found out. I think what's today, Wednesday. I think yesterday it was announced that there'd be a press conference. So I'm like, okay, like, so we're gonna get we're gonna get some answers. Mm-hmm. But what's interesting is that the family had asked for privacy mm-hmm. on social media because they knew all these rumors and things were going on. Um, after Carly after Carly got home, like we we need privacy. Okay. So the Today Show in- interview that the parents did, I didn't get to watch it, but was that before or after she got home? It was after. Okay. Yeah. So we're like, okay, you know, it's fine. Traumatic experience. Yeah. Kidnapping. Take, get your rest. Take time. You owe us nothing right now. But then they give the interview. Yeah. Which I believe is, there's potential that it's a paid interview because like it was, it's a national interview it's mm-hmm. not like they went to like a local paper or anything yeah, they were on the today show yeah so Gail it's like King is on the today show so it's like isn't she no no she's not so i'm like okay sure you know everybody gets a chance to, you know be dime you know dive into the limelight a little bit mm-hmm. i'm not saying i'm not saying i i wouldn't have taken the opportunity myself but it's interesting is all i'm saying and so you know, not a, not a lot comes from the interview you know they chop it up um, mom is saying at some point she had to fight for her life physically, mentally, but mm-hmm. they, they weren't going to comment on specifics like where she was and things like that. Cause the investigation is still ongoing. So I didn't expect to get a lot from the, from the interview with her parents, but 
you know, it was it was it was interesting. I noticed the dad didn't really say anything. Mm -hmm. The father didn't say much. The mother was doing all the speaking, and um, you know, it wasn't really hard hitting any news. So then the word drops that there's going to be a press conference by the police. So I'm like, great. You know, in my mind, uh, maybe the family might be there, right? Like, I I would think if all this is legit and they're working toward finding the perpetrators, like the family might be there or family might be mentioned. So I can't wait to watch the press conference. And I got so upset because I forgot that there's a, there's a time difference. I guess Hoover, Hoover, wherever Hoover is in Alabama, it's central time. Mm -hmm. So they said it was going to be two 30. So I'm, I'm in front of my iPad at two 30 Eastern. And I'm like, all right, where's it at? Where's it at? And then I went and checked and I was like, ah, oh, damn. Three 30. It's three 30. So I had to go back and do some more work. And I came back at three 30 and they started on time. They're very prompt. Yo, first of all, I don't need you telling my no, business. I, gotta, I have to put you on blast. <laughs> so I come downstairs and I feel like one of the kids was, was needing something or I can't remember what it was, but I was like, where's daddy? And they, you know, Sonoma kind of pointed to your office. Solace like, Oh, he's in his office. Doors closed. All right. So I go, I knock on the door. I open the door. This dude's sitting at his desk. He's got his tripod set up. He's got phone his tripod. He's got his can his phone attached to the tripod. He shushes me. Most phones sit on tripods. He shushes me. That's the, the purpose of a tripod. And I'm I'm like, are you in a meeting? Because I can hear talking in the background. So I'm like, are you? Why are you in a meeting right now? Because I knew he's not. He doesn't have a meeting. Why are you in a meeting? You got your door closed. You, you got your camera set up. And he was like, shh. What do you okay? What are you? You're doing? interrupting. He was like, "Don't talk." That's what eighty what percent of husbands want to say to their wives. What do you mean, "Don't talk"? Regularly this dude throughout the day, is watching the press conference on his monitor, has his camera set up, and is recording the press conference that he's watching. Like, I was baffled. I just and I'm, why is it baffling? In my mind, because it's 2023. There is nothing that is recorded that you cannot access on youtube I, want to watch like, I literally watch the press conference again on youtube it's, there's there, there are certain things that uh that the experience is different watching it live now i get i know what you're going to say well then why would you record it one because i wanted to watch it immediately after and go through it to make sure i understood and okay. i don't know that if there would be a delay yeah because it was a live. i guess to youtube it was a live recording so that it would have been available right away but i'm not sure those things are kind of finicky sometimes but um yeah so there are certain things that it's just to, it's it's different experiencing it live like live sports number one is different like i've never gone back and watch a recorded basketball game or mm -hmm. football game i watch highlights or clips but to sit there and watch a game that's already been decided like mm -hmm. i just i've never been able to do that uh, and certain press conferences, I feel, are the same when they have a certain certain magnitude to them. And also, I just couldn't, <laughs> I'm not as savvy as I used to be, technologically speaking, so I couldn't find, like, a screen recorder where I could just record it and then just download the video onto my computer. You could have just done Control-Shift-Five. No, I don't know if you can do or that you with... you can do the QuickTime. I don't know if you can do that with um, with YouTube. Because they're pretty, I know, like, at least on mobile phones. But like I said, I'm not as tech savvy as I used to be. So you're sitting here saying, like, it's common knowledge. And maybe for those, y'all out there, it is. But for me, it's not. For work, I always have to have screen so, recordings and screenshots. So um, I, I have to. And learn. it just kind of took me back. Like, like Yo, I told you, when I was. He like he was when some I was, Clark Kent co-worker investigative reporter. <laughs> when I was doing, when I was a, a, a aspiring journalist. It was And cute. I had to record some things and. So it took me back a little it, bit, but yeah, I, I would, I would imagine, I was like, she's about to come in here. Like I knew it, like I heard it. Well, where's daddy at? And then it was like, she's about to, one, she's about to knock. And then before I say whether she can come in or not, she's going to come in, which is so annoying. Like, why would you do that? Why would you just not just barge in? What's the point of knocking and then not waiting for a response? Knocking is so disrespectful. It's, it's to give you the opportunity to know so, that I'm about to barge it's in. So like, just I don't, like, I don't like the purpose of a knock is to know whether or not you can enter. So why would you knock and then enter? You've already got your mind made up. Just come in. It is so frustrating. It is the one thing you know that, what's crazy. That he at drives least has me. a door on his office. It's one thing I that drives. We'll be sitting at my desk and he'll just pop around the corner. Drives me crazy. And what do I do? 
I wait for you. I wait for you to acknowledge me. Come and knock on my desk. I wait for you to acknowledge me. Which means you're this close to me. I'll stand at. I'll stand at the corner. I'll be like, no, yeah, no, no, no. no, no, no. He does it like a creeper. So then he's just like, like like, Shaq hiding behind the tree. I'm like, do you see me? And then I can know. I can tell when you see me out of your peripheral, but you're not acknowledging me. Like, okay, she's busy. So then I leave. And there are times where I will wait, and then you'll be like, huh? I'm not in the meeting. Come on. And then I'll come. I'll, I'll come. I do that more. I show you more respect for your space than you do my me and mine. You just be knocking and just busting in my office. I don't understand why why that is. I, I let you so know I'm that I'm in. So I'm sitting here. I got my little wax set up <laughs> recording. And, and he's rec- like recording he, the he YouTube, and I'm I'm fo- I'm focused, and I hear out in the hallway. She's like, "Where's Daddy at?" And I'm like, "And these kids never know where I am, right? Like, never. they I do not matter to these kids unless they're hungry or they want to buy something." So I'm, normally I can be in this house and nobody knows where I am. But the one time I want to be left to myself. Everybody knew. Everybody knew where I was. Oh, he's in his office. Like the baby probably pointed she did. to my door. And she walked in with me. <laughs> she had a and so, she and so I'm like, I'm like, oh, here she comes. So she knocked. And I didn't even bother saying anything because I knew she was going to come in no matter what. So I hear the knob turn and she's coming in. And then she just comes in. Hey, so I'm going to go pick up. So I'm like, shh. shh. So then I'm like, why are you shushing me? Just be quiet. Because I know that then, the camera. And then that, she that, almost, and then she was almost obedient. She was almost like, okay. Um, she started to turn. And then she was like, wait a minute. Why? <laughs> like, why? why? Am and I being she, shushed? Your camera that you would be on for a meeting is behind you. You're facing this way and you're shushing me. Like, none of this is making sense you were Because right you were in my space. That's why. Carry on. So you watch your press conference. I think I was like, I'm like, okay, Dan Rather. Never, I can't never have nothing in here. Just put a put a bolt on my door. Okay, talk about your little investigative reporting. So, um, Jason Stujinky. <laughs> no, you were Joe Bruno in this moment. I was, you, I was you getting. Had, I, I had my Bruno on. You have to tag him. You had. Um, you were ready. So they had the they had the press conference, right? And the mayor was there. Um, and he said the the chief of police was gonna come up and he was gonna do his thing. He was gonna answer. He was gonna read some some facts. Was he the one in like the periwinkle with the Easter with the Easter suit? He, yeah. Yo. So somebody said he, my, like he was about to get a deviled egg in as soon as that. Somebody wrapped. said my only purpose in life is to see the pants that are that are going with this suit because they only showed it from the from the torso You're up. Right. Yeah, but it was a fit. It was a fit. I'm not even gonna hate. Blue tie? I thought he was gonna come in at like his police gear with like his badge no, and everything. No. Oh boy, he, came out like because no one knows where Hoover, Alabama is. Yeah, he and put he him on the map. This is the only press conference he's he put him ever on. going to be in. He absolutely put them on. Look, I got. I got to get that suit. Betty Sue. Betty Sue had a whole roast ham waiting for him when they he said got he home. Uh, he knows his color wheel. And I, I can't even hate. My brother was You're sharp. Right, they usually wear their uniform. Why? My brother he... was sharp. And brother like came. JC Penny. <laughs> came in. I'm like, I'm like, who is this? It's the city attorney or something. Now like, that I was like, that's the chief of police. Now that I'm processing it, there is absolutely no reason he should not that have brother, been in uniform. That brother was stunting. He looked like a JC Penny. My man came out there. Their photo shoot ad. He came out. This is probably the, the first and last time we'll be on a nationally broadcast press yo, conference. Y'all gonna it. know me. He he was coached. He he went in there ready. Y'all about to know me. He was a successful millennial in his life that John, prepared him and let him know that he's gonna live on for and, a very long time. And John was fire. Um. So he came out, and, and and I noticed that the press conference was gonna go a certain way because they were very specific about their intention mm-hmm. of the press conference. They're just giving fact. Their intention of the press conference was to let the public know to put at ease mm-hmm. i think was similar the almost the exact or very similar language that they used that there was no longer there's not a threat it was kind of like what they were saying which mm-hmm. is at the same time saying that Nothing kind happened. kind of showing that it's kind of letting them know like letting the public know where this investigation is sort of trending so what a lot of people knew was that you know she got off work she um she, doc- she works she, in medical, right? Ish. Adjacent. Okay. Ish. Uh, uh, got off work. Uh, I think when he got something to eat and then was headed home. She was like seven minutes from like home or something target. like that. Whoa, no, but a lot of people didn't know that. Oh, okay. So okay. that, that you're, is you're later. In chronological so, order yeah. Knowledge. So originally she got off work, got some food, was headed home, saw the baby. Called 911, 
called a, called a family friend or whatever. And then boom, she's gone. That was a lot of facts that the public had. Now the cops, they went in, they did an investigation. Obviously, you know, they're doing an investigation. They're going to trace your steps, retrace your steps. Uh-huh. They had her phone, so they're going to look at her phone. Mm-hmm. Cell towers. So some other things came out. Mm. Some other facts. Mm. According to the police. Now, if you're somebody who's out there like, yo, we don't trust police. Okay, I get it. Fine, whatever. But it's the facts. It's funny how when people are talking about like their mistrust, it turns into police as opposed to just Pol- police. Oh, po- police. Like, <laughs> yeah, the police. Anytime it's like negative, it's it is po- it, cause it's the police. But like, if it's just fine, like, oh, it's the pol- it's a police officer. Like, it's just like, uh, police. Col- it's just cultural reference. And that's when you're, you, you're absolutely right. I never noticed switch. that. switch. Um, so if you're somebody out there who doesn't trust the authorities, uh, you know, it's, it's whatever. So they listed some of her movements behavior, like the day before or a couple of days before. And then even the day of before her disappearance. Some of these are just wild. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I was watching the press and I know this is serious, right? I know there's, there's like so many different like sub, subtopics that affect mm-hmm. the culture like from this 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 story and i know it should be treated with the absolute s- sincerity but but some of the stuff is just wild to me <laughs> as as a, as a as a just normal thinking adult i can't get i, I can't get myself right, to some I'm of these places it, you're educating me as we're listening so as we're talking two days before mm-hmm. she searched on her phone this is tuesday the 11th she searched, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert? That was a search on her phone, a Google search at July 11th at 7.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. July 13th, the day she disappeared. Um, 103 a.m. Mm-hmm. in the morning. That's a.m. Thank <laughs> you for clarifying. How to take money from a register without being caught. Mm. Hmm. Um, July 13th to 13 a.m., Birmingham bus station. Does she not sleep? Birmingham is in Alabama, by the way, in case you didn't know. I would imagine it's not that far from Hoover. Yeah, it's a, Hoover's a suburb of Birmingham. Exactly. Um, it was, it was tongue in cheek. Oh, okay. Um, July 13th, 2.35 a.m. One way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville with a departure date of July 13th. Do we not sleep? This one did it for me. This <laughs> this one. And I I don't know where Alan is. I don't know what he's doing. He has not been engaged in this at all. And I needed somebody because black <laughs> Twitter has been going off about this today. And I needed somebody to engage in the toxicity of what's going on on black Twitter. But he I sent him one. I sent him something and he just kind of laughed at it. So he must be busy. I know he's got a woman now. He's, I know he's or excuse me. I know he's busy now. I know he's got a lot going on, but I need I need my brother in this moment. And he, he's let me down. Okay. He wasn't he wasn't was available. It? Can you just let us know what it was? July thirteenth at twelve ten PM <laughs> she she searched the movie Taken. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So But why? I don't know. I mean, I mean no I, one knows. I know why. I, I could probably draw some lines and get to why. I mean, why but not John Wick? Like that's a that's I feel like that's a good Someone on Twitter said it probably should have been Gone Girl. Because in Gone Girl, she comes back. Well, taking oh, she comes yeah. back, but somebody rescues her. But n- That's not- the one with Ben Affleck, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Because there were a couple movies Gone- that came. Was it The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? There's another movie that's very similar to Gone Girl that I used to mix the two up. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of has that I know same he did. premise. I know he did Gone Baby Gone. No, it's not like a This one he directed. Movie. No, <laughs> no, no, it's not. I have to look into it. I mean, I don't. I mean, really somebody's care. probably said that when they've hit a home run, but that's not. A, it's not a baseball uh, movie. No. no, there's another movie that has the same Gone Girl aura to it. Um, gotcha. Taken. Yeah, I did hear about Taken, and I was trying to process it, and then I was like, "Well, ta- was it Taken One or Taken Two? Because um, there are multiple Takens." Yeah. So. Thursday at eight twenty, she left her job. So, did they search her phone and see that? I would imagine, history, or did, are they able to pull that up just from cell yeah. records? Uh, she did leave her phone. Probably both. They found her phone. They found her phone, her her purse, her wig, <laughs> her her purse with her Apple Watch in it, and her wig. But 
funny thing she when uh surveillance footage from her job they caught i can't remember what she does i don't know that it's necessarily relevant but it caught her taking money from toiletries oh. and a bathrobe from her job where does she work at a hotel uh, maybe a spa or something but she took some things that you would need if you were going on a trip no i mean it, short trip you don't need toiletries if you're going on a trip you get that from the hotel. you do if you you are, i take it back if you're not going if, if you're, you're going foraging if, in the if, woods if you're going to be uh somewhere where you're not sure what your toiletry situation is going to look like okay valid point yeah i just hope it was two ply but anyways she left there and went to target where she bought some granola bars and cheese it's mm -hmm. funny thing is is that neither the bathrobe the toiletries or the snacks she got at target were found in the car or near the car when police got there after she was taken so uh 9 30 p.m she called 911 to report a toddler on the highway saying she had stopped to check on the boy uh while she was on the phone with the dispatcher about the toddler russell traveled in her car 600 yards this is the the exact number i was talking mm -hmm. about the chief when he read it i was like 600 yards like bro that's yeah, literally kept, six football fields yeah he kept referencing that like and it's so funny like the way like it's they read all they did was present facts but they did it in a way that if you if you're into like subtext you're like okay they're saying mm -hmm. you, we all know what they're saying yep. and at this point it's just a matter of when not if they're like okay carly like just come on out and let us yeah. know what happened because they because people ask like what have the conversations been like with the family um have you talked to carly and they're like no you know we've tried but they say you know not at this time um and it seems like at least for now they're willing to be you know relatively patient until mm -hmm. she's she's ready to speak um but 600 yards that's how how far she traveled while she was on the phone with the dispatcher saying that she saw taller now look i'm 35 years old going on 36 I, was, I don't there are some speedy toddlers i don't have have you my tried my, to, my have, vision my vision is pretty good at okay. 35 mm -hmm. it's not as good as it was at 25 but at 25 i could not discern at 9 30 at night i could mm -hmm. not discern anything at 600 yards so mm. um after a call 911 which lasted less than two minutes she called a family member she went missing during that conversation at 9 36 family member on the phone russell lost contact with her during the call but the line remained open uh carly's mother told reporters that her daughter was on the phone with her sister-in-law at the time that her voice dropped out russell's mother then called the police and said russell had been on the phone with a relative that relative had heard russell scream uh, officers arrived on the scene within five minutes in which they found her car cell phone wig and purse apple watch was in the bag snacks she had purchased at target were not in the car or at the scene so she gave a statement to police and said that um she gave her account, said that a man came out of the woods, mumbled that he was checking on the child, uh, and then he forced her over a fence and into a car. She said the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of a truck with the man who she said had orange hair and was accompanied by a woman. She also said she could hear a baby crying. Russell told police she escaped but was recaptured and put into a car and blindfolded. Russell said she was taken and taken into a house where she was undressed. The next day, she said the woman fed her cheese crackers which is interesting because isn't that what she bought at Target? I don't know. Hmm. Cheese crackers and played with her hair. Russell said at some point she was put back into a vehicle. She claims that she was able to escape while it was in the West Hoover area and ran through the woods to get home. And that was, that was it. That was her statement. So she returned home on foot 49 hours after she went missing. Um, I think she had like a, her lip was busted maybe. And she had like $107 in her sock. Okay. And that's it. That's so, where things stand. So what? What do you think? I mean, you're the one who wanted to talk about this. I did, so but I, I want. But you? having having received that download, as you Christian mm -hmm. people say a lot. Um, Excuse me. What is you? <laughs> how do you? As there was always always saying, like I got the download from God. Like just say God spoke to you, or you prayed, and this is what God told. I got a download. Like <laughs> I just it's just weird to me. Like I get it. 
it's, it's, it's a clever saying, but like everybody says, this, and I guess it's lost its novelty. But anyways, now that you've received this information, are your thoughts? Um, I have a lot, but I'm still trying to be very. I'm not trying to formulate my opinions hastily. I want to be very intentional about how I process this whole situation because I think a lot of it boils down to mental health. Hmm. Um, I think, and I didn't get to read it. I know her boyfriend had released a statement. I don't know if it was before or after she was found. Uh, again, I saw it and then, you know, I think an email came through or I jumped on a call. So I didn't, you know, it gets lost in the threads um, once you refresh. So I never got to follow back up. But I, the one thing that I have seen a lot um, are people saying that she wasted their prayer. And then I guess just wasted their emotion, their empathy and all of that. And that was something that was really starting to bother me because it made me think like if you're, if someone you know is sick or someone says, you know, my grandma's sick, my whatever is sick, pray, can you pray, like keep them in your prayers and you pray for them and they die. Like no one ever says, oh, that was a waste of my prayer because I prayed for this person and they died. Like it's just, you know. It's kind of like when it's a, I feel like it's a bit of a false equivalency. No, what I'm the point I'm trying to make is it's not like you have an allotment of prayer that you can use up in your lifetime. And if you use your, your prayer on someone who may or may not have been, you know, kidnapped and trafficked. Um, now it's like, dang, I can't get that prayer back. And Lord, I really need, you know, right. an extra $500 this month. It's like, that's not, that's not how it works. So it's kind of like, you know, where's, I get the humor of the situation. I get the, this isn't adding up. I still need more details. But I, like, I found that just kind of troubling that that was a lot of people's initial response. Like, oh, I prayed for you. I had like, you know. And when I, you say initially, do you mean once this press conference happened yes, and you're once. seeing well, all the even, reactions? Even before that, as the details were coming out and right. you know, the videos, because, you know, the thing about uh, I'm going to call out that a lot of people have missed their calling of working in law enforcement because they <laughs> don't like law enforcement when when black Twitter rallies, when black social media rallies around a cause, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And it's, it's a swift. skilled thing. It's swift. And people, I mean, you just think about all of these podcasts about true crimes where they've actually solved it, where it's just some like housewife who got interested in some ABC special and now she's, you know, solving mysteries. So when people are motivated to get to the bottom of a story, they get to it. Like they're going to find the details. I mean, people were analyzing videos. They were like, look at these lights are going in reverse. You know, an ATV could have shown up and snatched. I mean, there were so many speculations because so many people were looking at it from so many different angles. Um, so that was something that was very impressive, but I, I didn't like that. Like, I won't lie. Like my, I, when I was talking to Georgia, I was like, and this is before she came home. We were like, or maybe she had just come home. And I was like, is this another Jesse Smollett situation? Like, where we're, we're falsifying things. But even that, I think, is a mental health thing. I think it's a cry for help. I think it's a cry for attention. Um, you know, you said that she looked up bus tickets to Nashville. Um, she's, in my head, she's clearly trying to escape something. The What it really boils down to is if you want to get away, you could just pack up and leave. Um, it, you, you have a car, you have resources, you can, to my knowledge, she's a single female, no kids. You could pack up and drive wherever you want, fly wherever you want and start over. Like if that was your intention, because all of the effort that went going into calling 911, faking, I would assume faking a scream to raise alarm. It's either a cry for attention. I need attention. I want people to, to miss me, to look for me. I don't feel like I'm, you know, getting the attention I need or just like a mental breakdown. I'm overwhelmed and I, I need freedom. I need space, whatever it's in my opinion is one of those two things. So the evidence, the details that have been presented to us make it very clear that this is likely not 
a situation where she was human trafficked. Um, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of you know the boy who cried wolf situations because especially when you're in a time where it's just like everyone's always saying like believe black women protect black women listen to black women um, I do think that's why this became a national story because you've got this small police department in a small you know suburb of Birmingham who if this is at the time they believed a real thing it doesn't want to they don't want it to become a story of this black woman went missing and nobody made the effort to find her so i think i i commend them um even if it was just for you know respectability politics of just you know we don't want it to come back against us that we didn't put in the effort um but i do think it's unfortunate that you know the misuse of resources and all of that stuff i do think she she in some capacity she needs help she needs some mental support um with all of this and this is going to be hard to rebound from and to go back to whatever normal life she may have had or did not have that's that's tricky um but i think aside from you know the natural comedic part that can be found we need to find some kind of sympathy like what has to be going on in someone's life that they would piece together this entire situation but in that if you are going to go through this effort you got to put a hundred percent in like you need to know how to go missing like you need to know incognito mode you need to know if you're going to do some research if you're going to buy snacks you need to buy them the week before um you like you need to be more strategic in your planning um so that this stuff doesn't come back because I, and i don't know if it was or wasn't her plan to reappear maybe she didn't realize she was going to become national news maybe she thought i'm a black woman i'm just going to you know fade fade to back fade, fade to black and people are just gonna assume that i got trafficked you know i hear a scream it's very ominous and then you disappear and we never see her again. She got human trafficked, unfortunately, you know, sorrow, sorrows, prayers, prayers. But it turned into a thing. And I think that might have spooked her, maybe recognizing like, okay, all of a sudden, all of these people are concerned about my whereabouts. And now I have to pivot the direction for which I'm, I'm, I planned this to go, or I didn't plan this to go, or maybe I didn't process the full plan. So I think there's a lot... And over the next few days, weeks, maybe even months, we'll probably get more detail. I'm curious how they're going to play this out. Is she going to be charged like for, you know, falsify? I don't know if that's a crime, falsifying and kidnapping. I'm sure it is um, because I think some woman did that. She said she was kidnapped and she disappeared for like a couple months and then reappeared. So um, I'm sure she's going to, you know, face charges. I'm sure she's going to be ridiculed for many years to come. But I, I think there's... A, there are a lot of details that aren't surface level that need to be processed in this whole situation because none of it makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so a, a, a few things. <clears throat> One, you're absolutely right. There's a lot that's that still has yet to come to the surface and that's because we haven't heard from Carly directly right so we haven't heard from her directly and then there there hasn't been a follow-up mm -hmm. between the conversation between detectives and her because they said to respect the situation and the trauma and everything that just happened they didn't ask any follow-up questions right they didn't press her for, like if details didn't make sense they they didn't press her on it um, I would assume that would happen at the next conversation who knows when that'll happen um, so there, there is, though we now have the facts as according to the police department, there are still some, some gaps there. There's still the 49 hours that she was gone. Mm -hmm. Right. And though she gave her statement to the cops, uh, there's, there's still some, some meat to fit in around a lot of the bones in terms of the timeline of, or the, the story of what happened, how, you know, how long was she in the back of the car? Like how long was she in the trailer? Like a lot of that has to be filled in assuming all that happened. And, uh, 
You know, right? We'll, we won't know. But uh, what we do know, I think, is enough t- for is enough if someone wanted to look and say, none of this happened. Mm-hmm. There's enough evidence for someone, I think, to say that confidently, regardless of what else comes out. <clears throat> and um, I think that's disappointing. I think it's unfortunate. I, you're right. We don't know the mental circumstances. We don't know her personal circumstances. What um, what binds she may have been in, mm-hmm. where she felt like she needed to get away. What just what life was like for her that she felt like maybe she needed to get away. We don't know what drove this act. We have absolutely no idea. And I'm going to be very careful with my words because I don't, I don't want to you, you use the very popular phrase these days, mental health. And it's true. Mental health is important. And someone's lack of mental health is diff- like if someone is, is, is suffering from a lack of mental health, it's mm-hmm. different for, you know, every, each person, right? Like what that looks like for them and how they react and, and what they're struggling with. It looks different. Like it's not, this is not cookie cutter. And it's not a cookie cutter type situation or, or condition. But I think we got to be careful from just anything that's <laughs> it seems wild to just say, oh, like, this is probably a mental health issue mm-hmm. because there are people out there with like real significant mental health issues who you don't think get there's a mental health issue. I, I don't you said real. I don't know. Number one, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't know either. So we can't say it definitely is or it definitely isn't. All I'm saying is we got to be careful. Mm hmm. Because somebody does something that's outlandish, out of pocket, way beyond anything you or I would ever do, doesn't mean we should automatically assume, oh, well, there's got to be a mental issue there. There's got to be a mental health issue. She must be struggling with something. Newsflash, everybody's struggling with something, Mm -hmm. right? Inflation, other side of a pandemic. Spouses. (laughs) Spouses, kids, uh, wage inequality, like corporate profits going through the roof, wages staying, wages staying down here. Well, everybody's struggling with something, uh-huh. right? Um, and then one would argue there's probably been no greater time for emphasis on mental health than now. No greater time for emphasis on therapy. Um, you know, uh, eliminating um, uh, crutches, things that can that you go to to cope and soothe that only harm you, right? Like I get it, like, all of that. But everybody's dealing with something, mm-hmm. and because I make a poor decision, doesn't mean I automatically get to run and cover under the guise of of you know uh, I have a mental health issue. I, I just don't think that that's something that we should automatically jump to. Yeah, no, I agree. We do mis- and, mis- manipulate. That yeah, term. and it, and it allows people to sort of kind of duck and hide from responsibility mm-hmm. and accountability. Now, again, this isn't me saying she, <laughs> this isn't me saying that she, she doesn't have a mental health issue. This isn't me saying that she does. Um, I'm just saying the the facts as they are currently laid out would suggest that she did something completely irresponsible. And like you said, didn't even think it through all the way, right? Like we got you on video, getting a robe, get some toiletries, got you a target, getting some snacks. And none of those things are there. When you get abducted. So the dude snatched you because he wants you for trafficking because he can sell you or whatever mm-hmm. they do with trafficking. But was like, yo, this is my opportunity to get a free robe and some Cheez-Its and some checks Mix. So let me get that too. Like it just, if I'm grabbing, like I would imagine you got to be quick if you're a human trafficker to mm-hmm. grab people before there's a scene alerted. So you got to just grab somebody. You don't normally take other things with you. So, you know, I, I just, there's enough there that someone can be like, yo, this is completely made up. Mm-hmm. Um, or it was something that was supposed to be staged that went, that went left. And maybe somebody didn't, you know, she thought it was going to be one thing and it ended up being another. And that, those are the things that will come to light at the end of the day. But um, to call 911, to say that there was a toddler on the side of the road, uh, to get police resources sent, 
um, for, and this is nothing she had control over, but the fact that the community organized behind mm-hmm. this, people put in time, effort, took off, took off, used PTO days. Like people took off work. <laughs> like to go search I got a limited PTO. You. I'm not I'm not really hurting for for days off, but some people only got a limited number. Mm-hmm. And these people took took off, like for I said, you. offered to cook their family food, you know, gave money. So I mean, it's it's just not a, it's it's not a, it's not a good look right now. Mm-mm. And I don't know that that it, it it gets any better than this. I think it only gets worse. And there's another aspect of this where uh, people are like, oh, well, you know, before the press conference, people said, oh, well, you know, we don't you don't need to hear from Carly or her family. You know, they don't owe you anything like give them privacy. Mm. And maybe maybe a little bit. But when when people when the community rallies around your family, when people, you know, take off work, you know, commit resources, you know, they stamp flyers, you know, they march, they search you know, uh, federal resource, federal agencies get called in to utilize, you know, utilize their resources. There was a huge effort Mm -hmm. that went behind trying to find her. When that happens, I think people do, the public does have a right to have questions, Mm -hmm. to want some answers. I don't think that's unfair. When you, when her, the meme of her comes across my, my social media feed, somebody shared it, but it started somewhere. Mm -hmm. Because at one point, only, a couple of people knew about this. Her mom, the the lady she was talking to, nine one one. So somebody started. So you don't get to kind of come to the public and say, "Hey, please pray, please do everything you can, please share." No, and then alone. and now you're like, "Oh well, you know, it's just we 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 don't. They don't owe you anything. Like it's a private matter. Like the hell it is. <laughs> NBC wouldn't say it's a private matter. CNN wouldn't say it's a private matter because it's on their ticker." They're doing families doing interviews on NBC. Like, nah. That's, that's one thing I don't I don't really appreciate. But um, yeah. But I don't I don't think it it shouldn't uh, affect how a disappearance of a black woman should be treated mm-hmm. in the future, right? Like, like people who who were who were all for, you know going out and finding her and saying, Hey, you know, we got to make sure the P- the police department acts swiftly. Even now they, I, even now that we know more information and it looks like it may not have been a legit thing. I still feel like those people are in the right because like, you didn't know that at the time, like mm-hmm. you would want everyone to like, if that was you who went missing or solace went missing and it t- turns out y'all was, y'all was out here. <laughs> I don't, and yeah, it turns out that that's I'm not, not here for embarrassment. So that that's not wouldn't, legit. We wouldn't fake. That. I would, I would still want mm-hmm. people to the 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 uh, the police department and everybody involved to react with the same swiftness sense of urgency, yeah, you know, sw- swiftness and, sw- and sense of urgency. And and you know, it it would suck if it turns out that y'all it was a hoax or whatever. But you know, I'm still going to react that way mm-hmm. because I got to. It's your job to advocate for yeah. your loved one and make sure. Yeah, they absolutely. Come home. So I don't think people who advocated for her should feel bad or, or they should, um, you know, should act differently next time. I think if you were loud, like really loud, on people who just you know just had questions and you know were being kind of pompous and condescending, I think you deserve to tell some people that you were wrong. I think you can own that. I think you can can wear that mm-hmm. and sit in that, but just people who just generally cared and, and put effort and did whatever they could to assist in, you know, the finding of her. Um, I, you know, I, I think that, that they were absolutely 100% justified. And I think that, you know, they should, they shouldn't let this affect how they react to the, to the next one. Like you can't let one. Yeah. And I don't know why that is with like black people. <laughs> like, I don't know why it is that if one person messes up, like, oh, here we go. Culture. They're never going to look for another missing black person mm-hmm. again. Like, no, it shouldn't be that way. Like we have agencies in place in place for these specific things. We have Amber alerts in, in place for specific things. We have silver alerts in, in place for specific things. We have nine one one in place for a specific thing. And it, you know, I, now I don't want this to delve into a conversation of, you know, white supremacy and systemic racism and all that. Cause that surely is a part of the conversation is why, 
people feel like they black people may feel like they don't put as much um, effort into finding us as, you know, you go back and look at history. But, you know, in a more modern time, you know, you would think you know, that's like that's what they're there for. Mm-hmm. Right. And and we can't we can't think that one person is going to ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah. But I mean, think um, because about every, when a kid every goes situation, missing. every situation is different. Like a kid goes missing and everyone gets like you're in a store. A kid goes missing. They do a silver alert. They lock the doors and everything. And, you know, mom's fl- flipping out. I can't find him. Where's Billy? And then it's like, you know, two minutes later or like 10 minutes later, Billy comes strolling with a piece of cotton candy. And he's just like, oh, I saw the candy stand. I wanted candy. The relief is there for the parent because it's like in that moment i'm horrified i don't know where my child is i want every person who is willing and able to help me source this child because i don't know if they've been kidnapped i don't know if they're dead somewhere so that is supposed to be the response yeah you know at the end of it it's like oh this little boy just went to go get some cotton candy and walked away from his mom but in that those vital moments you have to assume the worst before you realize and you know with a kid i don't know personally i've never been in that situation but i don't know that anyone's just like oh well like that was a waste of my you know excitement trying to find this little boy because at the end of the day the goal is to get this person back home so to your point it shouldn't be the thought of dang now the next time a black girl goes missing they're gonna be like well is she really missing let's see what she bought like what are her credit card numbers like no use the resources and because the next time might actually be the time that someone needs to be saved before they're, you know, shipped off to another state to be trafficked. Um, so, yeah. yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, I, I'm curious how this is going to play out. Like, I really do want to see and get some details. I'm ready for the Hulu Netflix special. I'm sure Tyler Perry is already working on something. Um so we'll get that in the works. Like it's it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Um Tubi. Twitter Twitter has been fantastic today. I feel like Tubi. I've, that's the, the the ghetto network, I've, right? I've held back on stoking the fires and, and resharing the very hilarious tweets that at one certain points of this investigation would have seemed unfair to put out. But now it's kinda like it's free game. And um, I'm not ashamed to say I've, I've partaken in some some really good tweets and enjoying and consume some really good content. Uh, it's it's been it's been a good night. Uh, but it's it's it, at the end of the day, in all seriousness, it is it is sad because you know it, she felt compelled to do what she's done, assuming that it's it's none of it's real. Or a large portion of it, portion of it isn't real. She felt compelled to do it for some reason, and that reason probably isn't good enough, right? I don't know that there's ever a, a good reason to do what she's done, assuming it's 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 all um, manufactured. But it is sad. Uh, but again, you know we. We all have struggles, we all have battles, and you know, we can talk about different class systems, uh, social class social classes, different neighborhoods, communities, and and the quality of support systems that are that are in place for people who are struggling, whether you're talking about families or whether you're talking about community services, programs, things like that, or the lack thereof. Uh, those are real topics, those are real problems uh, that we need to, to solve. Uh, and this country, country could stand to be um, create more uh, make more equitable across the board but um, you know we at the end of the day we all have choices mm. and we get to make choices um, and you know we got to live with, with what comes with that Very so true. um We'll wait and see what happens. We will be following this close, this story very closely. Yeah, we'll be following. I, I, I got my Twitter subscriptions on. He'll so. be following it closely, and so I'll just learn. Next week, next week we'll, we'll hopefully we'll be talking about it, but we'll probably mention we'll it because I imagine there'll be there'll be more developments by then. Because uh, I would imagine at some point, 
if she doesn't talk, they're gonna like arrest her. They'll find a way to make her or talk. Yeah. Because we're at that stage now, you know, where someone might just be a person. Of it. Like, oh, no, it's just a conversation. We just want to talk to you. We can do it here. We can do it on the, at, the, at the precinct. Just have an attorney present. Yeah. But, but pretty, if Ben Crump doesn't show up? You know. Well, yeah, it's true. If Ben Crump doesn't show up, then, you know, it's like, ah, uh, it's not looking good. We'll see. Uh, you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify if YouTube isn't your thing. Although... YouTube is supposed to be pushing podcasts now like really hard. And if you have YouTube premium, you can just start the video and then you can lock your screen and we'll still it'd be like audio only. But if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button because if, if you're seeing this at this point, that means you've watched pretty much most of or at least the back third or half of the episode. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can know when we uh, when we drop new episodes and make sure you like and share. That helps with discoverability. We've been discovered here recently. Again, thank you to everybody who subscribed and followed us on Instagram. We appreciate y'all. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. What you got? Nothing. Well, you ready to go hit these streets? I might be, be the, hitting these streets. these streets, I'm, streets, I'm streets tired. and avenues. Nah, you're going to go out. You're going to go out for the crew. I'm, I've been sitting for a while, so I have, like, my energy. Let me get you. I got a Red Bull. I'm not you. drinking a Red Bull at this hour. I got... Like a little bit left of a five hour energy shot. Do you want it? No. It's are, probably like a 1.5 hour energy they shot. They expire. I don't know. You're supposed to consume them within three days, 72 hours. I think I'm still good. It's been in there. Yeah, you're finna get sick. Never that. I've taken one like a week later. Ew. Yeah. But it was back before it got hot. It was back when it was still relatively cool. I think it's better. I just keep them in the car. Mm, okay. It worked. Okay. It did what it needed to do. That's great. It got me through. It got me across the finish line. Okay. Speaking of finish lines, shout out to uh, Shakari Richardson. It's been balling lately. Mm. She's um. She said she was gonna be back, and she came back. I thought she said she was better. Well, she did say I'm not back. I'm better. But uh, some time ago, when she lost the, her last race, that got a lot of publicity. She's like, I'm gonna be back. I'm not done. So, but I like that. That was a bar. She's like, I'm not back. I'm better. I was like, okay, Shakari. Okay. I'll see you. She hawked old girl too. Cause like she was, she was like behind and then she, she hawked right at the end. We girls be flying. Like 10, talking about 10.7, hundred meters, 10.7 seconds. <sighs> yeah. She's quick. I can't even think that fast. Like you definitely can't let alone run. That's ridiculous. God given. Lord have mercy. And it's just such such a such a grace and elegance. Like it's 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 amazing. Um anything? No, do you want to carry on? No, nah, it's not like you got a little crush. No, I don't have a crush. No, it's just any it's just women's sprinting in general, not just Shikari. Like did we just did we just figure out if it's Shikari or Shikari? Shikari. Shikari, okay. My apologies, Shikari. I say figure out like <laughs> like it's not yeah, known. I'm like I'm not just wrong. Like, yeah, it's Shikari. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, it's just I, that's always a sport I've always appreciated, just because it's you know men obviously run most men run faster, but the women just have it's just a different. I don't know that I can describe it. It's more just like a it thing. You you see it. I can't know, necessarily describe it. I've just always appreciated it a lot more than than the men's, but. Yeah. Cool. That's it. That's all I got. I'm up. I'm done. We're at an hour and twenty five minutes. So All right. Until next time. So we'll see y'all next week. You'll be good, be safe. It's supposed to be like like almost half the country is supposed to be experiencing like triple digit It's bad. Um heat. So nice. yeah. uh don't tax your ACs because you think you hot now. <laughs> the AC go out. Whew. And we've been there, so we know. But all right, appreciate y'all for rocking with us. We'll see y'all next week. Be safe, be blessed. Yeah. We out. None of some grow pains. Yeah. Hey, hey. I done came way too far. Can't stop me now. I done came way too far. can stop me now. I done came way too far. can stop me now. I done came way too far. can stop me now. Stop me now. 
Stop me now.